Hi, I'm Cher Pendarvis. In this video, we'll have a look at the Enhanced Property Bars, a favorite new feature. The new Enhanced Property Bar puts important brush controls right at your fingertips, making it easier to adjust your brushes on the fly as you work. First, let's look at the settings for the opaque acrylic variant of acrylics. To choose it, open the brush selector, select acrylics and gouache and opaque acrylic. In the main property bar, you'll see settings that are familiar, for instance, size and opacity and more. The extended property bar is over at the right and here you'll see the dab options. Click once to open, click to close, the static bristle panel, important to this particular brush, click once to open, click to close. The blending panel, also important to this brush, and click to close. And then to the far right we have the advanced brush controls and the show or hide general panel. Now let's have a look at a dab stencil brush and how the settings change in the property bar and extended property bar. In the brush selector, choose Dab Stencils Category and Flow Map Smooth Wet Oil. As you can see, the main property bar has changed to add both papers and flow maps, new media that are incorporated into this particular Dab Stencil brush. And on the right, you'll notice Dab Options, the dynamic speckle panel, because this is a dynamic speckle brush, real bristle, and the real wet oil panel. And of course on the right, the advanced brush controls and the show or hide general panel. As you can see, the enhanced property bar gives quick access to brush controls and it allows you to adjust settings and choose papers and other important media on the fly as you paint. Happy creating!